Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Emily Drabek Monder, an astronomer at the Royal Observatory. Imad Ahmed from the New Crescent Society and I will be talking to you about astronomy and Islam. I'll first go over some of the science of the moon and how we can accurately predict when the new crescent moon is visible before I hand over to Imad to talk about the Islamic calendar and Ramadan. Let's take a look at a diagram of the sun, the earth, and the moon. In space, the earth is orbiting the sun, the moon is orbiting the earth. Our moon doesn't make its own light. The reason why we can see the moon is because sunlight reflects off the moon back to the earth. You'll notice that half the moon is lit up by the sun and the other half is in darkness. The moon doesn't always look the same shape in our sky. The face of the moon is determined by where the moon is in its orbit and how much light we can see reflecting off its surface. When the moon is in between the sun and the earth, we can't see the moon because it's in shadow. We call this the new moon. As the moon orbits the earth, more light from the sun will move across the surface of the moon as we can see it from the earth. This makes it look like the moon is getting larger over time. These phases are called waxing phases. When the moon is on the opposite side of the earth as the sun, this is when we have a full moon. As the moon continues to orbit the earth, less sunlight will reflect off the moon and the moon will look like it's getting smaller. These are waning phases. Eventually, we'll end up back at a new moon when we cannot see the moon and the phases of the moon will start once again. For the moon to orbit the Earth, it takes a little over 27 days. However, to go through all of the phases, from new moon back to new moon, that takes 29 and a half days, so nearly a calendar month. The Islamic calendar is based on moon phases. At the beginning of the month will be the new crescent moon. The new crescent is the first time the moon is seen after the new moon. This means that the new moon is always towards the end of the month in the Islamic calendar, on the 27th, 28th, or 29th day. To accurately predict when the new crescent moon is visible, we have to think of a few important things. First of all, the sun needs to be below the horizon. That's because it needs to be dark enough for us to spot the faint light of the new crescent moon. Number two, the moon must be above the horizon and it must be high enough that we can see it. And lastly, the sun and the moon must be separated from one another in the sky. The minimum separation between the sun and the moon is what we call the Dangen limit. The moon and the sun really need to be separated by at least seven degrees to be able to spot the new crescent moon with our eyes. Even still, it's very difficult sometimes for us to spot the thin new crescent moon. Now, the new crescent moon won't necessarily be visible on the same day around the world because the moon isn't always visible at the same time in every single time zone. Now, Her Majesty's Nautical Almanac Office in the UK accurately calculates the visibility of the next new crescent moon based on the factors that I mentioned. Check out their website if you are interested in finding out when the new crescent moon is visible in your area. Thanks for explaining that, Dr. Emily. My name is Imad Ahmed. I'm the director of New Crescent Society, and I'm going to explain to you two things now. One, some basics around the Islamic calendar, and two, how we can use science to accurately help us predict when Ramadan will begin in the UK. The Islamic calendar is a lunar visibility calendar, which means the length of a month roughly corresponds to how long it takes for the moon to orbit the Earth. Now, as we've heard, the moon takes around 29 and a half days. Now, you can't have a month with a half day, so the Islamic calendar month will either have 29 days or 30 days. And about half the months have 29 days, and the rest of the months have 30 days. So, how do we know if a month has 29 days or 30 days? Well, that will depend on when we can first see the moon for that month. On the 29th of each Islamic calendar month, Muslims will go out in the evening looking for the moon. If they can see the moon, it means that month will have 29 days. If they can't see the moon, it means that month has 30 days. Simple. So, if we want to use scientific data to accurately predict when Ramadan is going to begin, all we have to do is to go to the 29th of the month before Ramadan and use our data to look at if the moon will be visible that evening or not. And if it is visible, Ramadan begins. And if not, we wait an additional day. 
So let's take a look at the data. This is a predicted moon visibility map for the 29th of this Islamic month, called Sha'aban, which will fall on Thursday the 23rd of April. The data for this map comes from the UK's HM Nautical Almanac Office. If the moon is visible, then it is indicated by the green zone. According to this map, the moon will not be visible in the UK, and actually, nor will the moon be visible in any of our neighbouring countries in Europe, or even Africa. This means the month of Sha'aban will have 30 days, and we will have to wait one more day for Ramadan to begin. Let's now look at the map for the next evening, which will be Friday the 24th of April. As you can see now, the UK is covered in green, and indeed, so too is most of the world, which indicates we should be able to see the Ramadan moon easily on Friday evening. This means Ramadan will begin as soon as the moon is seen that Friday evening, because Islamic dates start from the evening, and the first day of fasting will be Saturday the 25th of April. Now, I know some Muslims in the UK will begin fasting a day earlier on Friday, and that's because some Muslim communities follow the Islamic calendar from other countries. And so, when Muslims in the UK follow moon sighting reports or Islamic calendars from countries around the world, it's natural we will have some differences. Because, remember, different countries might see the new crescent moon on different dates, and also some countries have different ways of calculating the Islamic calendar which might not follow the visibility of the moon. The great news is you can see the moon for Ramadan from the comfort of your own home. You won't need telescopes and you won't need a pair of binoculars. All you'll need is a window or a balcony that faces the west and from where you can see the sunset. This is because the new crescent moon emerges near the sunset. And this is how to do it. First, you have to watch the sunset and mark the exact point where the sun sets on Friday evening. And then, around half an hour after sunset, when it gets darker, you should see the Ramadan moon appear near where the sun set, slightly to the left. Stay safe, good luck sighting, and when you do see the moon, Ramadan Mubarak from us at the New Crescent Society and from the Royal Observatory Greenwich.